All right, I got a brand new hour of stand-up material. Tiki Wiki's at ChrisDComedy.com. We added shows in Florida, West Palm Beach, March 28th, 29th. We have Vancouver, February 22nd. I'll be there for the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Phoenix, Arizona, January 26th to the 28th. And I'll be in Austin to kick off Moon Tower Festival. All those tickets on sale, ChrisDComedy.com. Of course, New Year's Eve in Huntington, New York, Long Island. And then next Thursday in Charlotte, Friday in Asheville, Saturday in Charleston. I think tickets are sold out or close to sold out. ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wiki's brand new hour of stand-up material. Come through. I'm going to kiss the front row on the lips. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hey, Babe. We are here. Sal Volcano's back. This is what Sal looks like this week. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how hot Sal. Sal's ugly now. I know. <laughs> Sal's an ugly gay guy now. I, I just wanted to. <laughs> want the record to show that I said yes to doing this because I thought Sal was going to be here. But yeah, uh, we put up a Twitter poll. Of course, it's the one only Joe Santagato, the Christmas cat. We um we put up a Twitter poll because Joe was kind enough to do this uh, show for us to fill in for for Sal Volcano, who will be back next week. Um, and, um, and I said, he said, is that, are, am I doing yours, meaning Chrissy Chaos, or the one you do with Sal? And I said, you know what? I'm going to just tell him that Sal's going to be there, so he shows up. <laughs> and then I said, let's just put it on Twitter. And what do the fans think I should do? Should I lie or tell the truth? And the fans voted to tell the truth, Ski. Wow. So, and I told you the truth. I said, Sal won't be, Sal won't be here. Yeah. But it's nothing personal. <laughs> but then you said, I'll pay you a bunch of money. So that's why, I did. Know, ultimately. I'll, I'll pay you a bunch of money. And we got, we got you a bacon, egg, and cheese with salt, pepper, and ketchup. It's a very New York, Puerto Rican order. <laughs> How's that Puerto Rican? I, I feel like salt, pepper, ketchup's more Puerto Rican, where just ketchup is white and just salt, pepper, no ketchup is black. I mean... <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. Also, the Taylor, Taylor, what is it? Taylor Ham and oh, Taylor Ham, yeah, dude. Is yeah. that like Jersey trash? Jersey shit. trash. When they're like, oh, can yeah. I get a, can I get a, um, uh, when they say a egg and cheese on a, on a, on a, what is it, a, a pork roll? Do they say what the fuck is that? A Taylor Ham. They say it's, Jersey has a stupid. I don't even know Google what that is. Jer New Jersey egg sandwich. What it's is? What is ta what's Taylor Ham? I don't know what Taylor Ham is. I only know Taylor Swift, and I, I love her <laughs> music, and I couldn't get tickets to her show. Nobody could. Nobody can. No but signal detected. Look, we just got a new TV in the new studio. And yeah. There's no signal detected. Yeah. Is that a fireplace? What do you think? You think it's going to work in here? Or you think my career is on going down? I mean, it seems to be working against all odds. So I mean. seriously, right? <laughs> That's because your brother runs my digital ads. <laughs> Anytime you ever see me infiltrate your Facebook or social media with, you know, show dates and plugs for my next venues, it's because of Joe Santagato's brother Thomas, <laughs> who's just he's he's like a little. It's like he works for the CCP in China. Right. He just he just co corrupts files and he just infiltrates yeah that's what he does and he gets in he's like a saudi arabian fucking one of those saudi arabian software spies and the thing is he knows a lot of terminology so if you ask him any questions like what, what does this mean and then he says stuff and i'm like oh all right but i have no idea what the fuck he's no, talking about but it's good you need you need someone like that in this world he's like the guy he's the, he's the most important part of the of your crew is you need the digital yeah. people. You need the homeless pimps. You need the homeless Thomas Santagados. Yes, you need the homeless pimps, yes. The Venetias. You need Venetia. Right. By the way, speaking of homeless people, I just saw someone give a, a box of latex gloves to a homeless person. Really? Like, out of their car. Like, they were like, you know how they like come by your car and they're like, yo, please. And I just put my fucking head down. I'm like, I'm texting. <laughs> I can't even see. Latex and then gloves. Someone just handed a whole box of latex gloves that were opened. Interesting. Interesting. Just a homeless, and how do you know, why do you, are you positive he was homeless? Maybe it's just a guy getting COVID tested on the street. It could, it could have been. No, I'm pretty certain they were homeless, just judging by the appearance. I'm mimicking the... you subconsciously. You, <laughs> you did your leg, now I do my leg like that. You're a guy that can pull off ankle socks. Anyone ever tell you that? Why, you don't do ankle socks? No, baby, I go high. You ain't seen I go high ankles. sometimes. Yeah, but if you're going to wear those, you got to go high. I wear, I protect my ankles like a Hasidic Jewish woman protects her head. <laughs> I don't let anybody see my ankles. <laughs> if you, if, 
Wait, are they not allowed to show their hair? I feel like I've seen some no, Jewish No, Hasidic ankles. Jewish woman. You, you'll never see a married Hasidic Jewish woman's real hair. You, they, they go they wigs wig it up. all day. They do wig, yeah. Yeah, you will never see their well, real hair. Where my studio is in Brooklyn, up there's, it's, you know, there's a lot of Hasidic Jews there. Really? And I in the you building. Were in Astoria. I live there, but I have the, the, my office space is in Brooklyn Navy Yard. And right around there, like if you're going to get on the highway, like going home. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Dude, Brooklyn Navy Yard is, it's one of those places where you don't think anything's going on there, but there's a whole world in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. <laughs> there is. There's like a fucking winery on a rooftop over yes. there. Like, yeah. I you went, like it there. By the way, I do, yeah, it's okay. you know what it is? In the Navy Yard, it's cool, but outside of it, there's legit nothing. Nothing. It's a barren wasteland. It's like being it on Staten Island. Yeah, exactly like that. It's like I love moving. Staten Island. <laughs> I do love Staten Island, but I'm being honest with you. Living there for the past year, it makes me, it's such a nice place. I can't deal with the suburbs. I want to sell the house and move to the city. I want to. Really? I feel like I'm going to commit suicide in that house. Because there's not enough going on. There's I feel, nothing yeah. going on. I, I know that it's first world problems. I yeah. get this. I know it's not like we're living in Qatar here. I just, which could, by the way, what is Qatar going to do with those stadiums when people leave? What are you going to do when Cristiano Ronaldo and everyone leaves? You, now you just have 10 stadiums that nothing, how many people are now going to die taking down the stadiums? Um, probably the same amount, I would say. What was it, like 1,500 people that night or something? That's what they say. Because if, if they're saying like 15, that publicly, 000. you know that it's a lot. 15,000, took, took a zero off probably, yeah. yeah. I, the last time the World Cup uh, the United States was in the World Cup in 2014. You and I hung out in a bar. Remember that? Yes, I do. Wow, that's fucking in crazy. A, in Astoria. I remember that because, and it was a shit bar, by the way. Yes, the hilarious. bar hired a, a mid yes. on the bar. There was, there was, can we say shit? Little person. Uh, but oh, was, yeah, this is Hey Babe. Sorry, little it, person. It. Yeah, there was a little person. You want to listen to Chrissy Chaos. <laughs> No, there was a little person, and he was he was dressed as Uncle Sam, yes. and he was pouring shots in everyone's mouths. Yeah, and I, and that was kind of like my first real interaction with a little person. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, I like up close at least. Yeah, you like, should, that was my them. first encounter sexually with a little person. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> imagine we just think it was a little person, but it was actually Dr. Fauci. But just before he was famous, <laughs> technically, how old? How tall is he? Fauci's a little guy. He's a little maybe. dude. Mm -hmm. He's tiny. There is a cutoff. It's like four ten. Or something. Um, you know what I thought about the other day? Tell me. You never see a guy, right? You know women who are like 4'10 and like 5'5", five 5'1", five whatever. I don't know any 5'1 dudes. Like they're either like a little person or they're like 5'5". Five five. But no one's like a dude 5'2". A grown dude. A grown man who doesn't have a condition. You don't see any 5'1 five five guys. Two. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've just... Because that sucks. That sucks to be the height, like especially being a guy, to be like where somebody looks at you and says, does that guy have a condition or does he not? <laughs> where you're on the cusp and you don't... Because for that, if I was 5'1 as a guy, I'd rather than just be 4'5. I'd rather yep. have the condition. Probably. Either give me the condition and knock me down a few inches or let me be 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I can't be 5'1". It's a gray area. You can't, you're playing for both teams. You're not playing for any team. You're not just in this weird... You're in a, yeah, you're in, you the, you're in that nether region, man. Well, I what? heard nowadays, like, if uh, a, a little person is pregnant, they can predict it and change that the baby's not... You can choose if the baby stays little. See, that's messed up. Wait, if what? I, so, she basically saying if two little people are... Or, or even a non-little person having a ba pregnant with a baby and they know the baby's going to be a little person, which I don't know how because all babies are little. So, I don't know how you can predict <laughs> that this one's going to stay little. But... But somehow they're able to predict that this, this person is not going to grow from a baby to a big person. It's going to just always stay little. They can reverse it in utero mm -hmm. and actually make that would have been little baby into a, big per, into a bigger person. Fuck out but this has divided the little person community. Yeah. How dare you choose not to have a little person? Yeah, that's kind of like a, like a, like a, <laughs> like a, like a, like a sort of like a trans situation. Because yeah, you You're should like, be Yo. proud. Huh? Be proud. If you're going to be little, then if, be proud to be little. Don't change that. That's kind of wild. Because I guess the little people are saying, is it a condition? Like, you know, just so what? I'm little. I still can do everything else everybody else can do but except is, get things it, off shelves. It's not like the majority, like, you know, normal. Like, you know, I don't like to use the word normal, but it's like <laughs> most people yeah. are a certain way. So if they are not that, then they aren't whatever that word is that choice. I'm not going to use normal. In LP. You're an LP, a little person. Yeah. 
Sacrament. Uh, I yeah, I don't know, man. I I think if I truthfully was if if I was having a, uh, yet another child and that child was going to be little, I would keep that little motherfucker little. <laughs> I would be. I don't. I don't like. I, this is the first I'm hearing about this. I don't even know if I trust someone to be in there. No, like, this yeah, is we'll true. just like fix it up and we'll like if make P- it. If bigger. Pimps brought it up, that means it's been verified on Reddit and it's true. Well, uh, <laughs> shout out Nick Novicki. He's a little person who's also a famous comedian, and yes. he has a documentary about this. And that's, shout out little Nick Novicki, great kid, Nick Novicki, uh, L.A. comic, great guy. I agree. Legend. He was in The Sopranos. Legend. Legend. Love, love Nick Novicki. Um, great dude. Now speaking of Nick Novicki, what? Taste buds. Yes. You got into. Was it hot water? I think this is the real reason Sal's not here. <laughs> what, what? Because what is it? Because I don't actually know. What is it? Uh, well, there was a couple viral clips of you guys arguing food. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I and I I saw a bunch of comments being like, "This is fucking taste buds. their whole show." Oh my god! I can't wait till you, you meet DeRosa. Yeah. <laughs> So do you think DeRosa has an issue with it? Like DeRosa, DeRosa has an issue with all of us. DeRosa, yeah, DeRosa hates us all. Um, D- I think, yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. So yeah. what, what food were you guys arguing? Because I don't know. I, I don't know. That, like, that happens frequently. You argue know. food. Well, you we were started on, talking about food in the, in, as soon as we started oh, the podcast. Oh, the Pop-Tart thing. Yeah, the Pop-Tart, oh, Pop-Tart thing Tarts. was pretty. Okay. All right. But yeah, it's hard to not argue food. Or just anything. Like, uh, me and, and Frank, I've known Frank, who I do the podcast with since I was in pre-K. So, like, and we rarely agree on pre-K. fucking anything. Pre-K. Before kindergarten. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, pre-gay, said you pre-gay. said. pre-gay. This has been Hey Babe. Post. <laughs> <laughs> Have a so, good one. So, you've known him since pre-K. Yeah, I've known him since pre-K. Uh, K. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we've just, like, argued about everything. I love well, him. Well, he, he looks bizarre. like he's in the pre-KKK. <laughs> um, <laughs> Frank yeah. How does he eat cookies again? Isn't it a very... He, yeah, the other day he said that he eats cookies by like taking like three or four of them and he like crumbles them up and puts them in a bowl and then puts a milk on it and eats oh, you guys a made it. Oh, you guys made it onto the Today Show? Yeah, well, they played That's a clip. That's awesome. They played a clip on the po- on the. They played a clip from the podcast on the Today Show. Did, yeah. did they bring you guys onto the Today Show? No, no, no. That sucks. So did they tell you we're going to use? My your mom clip? loves that woman, by the way. Which one? Hoda. I think. Hoda, her name? Oh, dude, how do you not Fucking love Hoda? Loves her. She's I love awesome. Al Roker's been in the hospital for the last two weeks. If really? Al Roker, if you're listening, and we know that you are, we hope you get better. I shared a. Uh, I was at the uh, a hotel in Puerto Rico with you at the same time. Uh, we were there together at the same time, and I came up to you on the elliptical and made a uh, what you deemed as a racist Whitney Houston joke. And I no, just wanted, I swear to God. What did I you just, say? What was I forgot joke? what I said. I had Whitney Houston on my shirt. He was on the elliptical, and he stopped. He went, that's fucking racist. I think something. <laughs> no, it just bombed. I think I, th- I had a picture of Whitney Houston on my shirt, <laughs> and I think I said something to Al, like, oh, what's up, Al? Like, whatever, like. People think this is you or something stupid. I said some joke that I don't even remember, but it bombed and it was dumb. And Al just looked at me and he was like, thanks. And then he just like kept going. I think like he fucking hated me. Yeah. But whatever it is, Al Roker, you seem like a really nice guy. <laughs> and, but you're in the hospital for the last three weeks and they have this other meteorologist woman on. See, here's the problem. If you people out there want to get sick and be close to death, mm-hmm. or you wanna like sit out of things, you gotta understand there's a lot of hungry mofos out there that are willing to take your spot. Cristiano Ronaldo sat out of the World Cup game, uh, this would be two days ago, and his replacement came in and scored a hat trick, which is three goals. So now people are like, Cristiano who? Now they want this new kid, you know, whoever this new Portuguese kid is, fucking Ramos, whatever. Who knows what their name, Portugal, by the way, doesn't get enough Portugal needs to get in a little bit more hot water. They're the ones that created slavery. Just want to put that out there. So why don't I we want, cancel I, Portugal? I really want to push back on that, but I don't have the, you know, the, I have nothing to back up my claim on that. Portugal but. literally are the ones who sold the original slaves to what would start the slavery movement in the United States, and Portugal just gets off the hook. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm not letting you off the hook. Talking about getting off the hook, that guy's been in hot water for quite some time. Cristiano Ronaldo, he has. Also, imagine getting benched in the World Cup, and then fucking uh, Saudi Arabia is giving him $200 million a year. A year, dude. Sick. That's Dude, that's Saudi money. I, I mean, dude, it's... Would you guys li- live there? Could you do it? In Saudi Arabia? Um, Depends if the line was finished or not, because I would yeah. like to live in that city. The Which new one? city. The new city that they're building, The Line. They're building a new city called The Line? You haven't heard about this? No. no. It's, a, it's a city that they're building, uh, and it's like miles long, and 
It's like vertical. It's like a vertical city. If you look up pictures of it, so it's in look, the desert and it goes and straight up. Saudi yeah, it'll, and it, it's like mirrored on either side. But they're building this, and it's like billions of dollars, and it's going to take God knows how long. I think evil shit's going to happen. Whoa, this is, mile that's pretty linear. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very futuristic. Yeah, insane. And it's in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Not being built by slaves, right? Well. It's not being built by slaves. That's what, yeah. That's what we have. supposedly, it, right? Well, no, we're they don't have say. any slaves. Yeah, okay, you but we don't liars. Know. But yeah, it's, a, um, it's like a vertical city that they're like, you know. Oh, look, and they got a soccer stadium. Football. Yeah, Do you exactly. call it football? Well, no, I'm a fucking white person from Queens. We call it soccer for sure. <laughs> Are you really white or why don't you start telling the truth? Zoom Super in. white, dude. <laughs> you thought what? I, no, I was saying zoom in on your face. I don't know that you're, I don't know, I don't believe that you're white. What do you believe? I believe, I believe that you are, uh, I think you're an undercover Latino. Undercover. Why would I go undercover? Because I think that, um, I don't think that you uh, support um, Latinos. Oh, you think there's something like self Yes, I think that you are a Latino and it, you're not proud to be. And I want to tell you as a Puerto Rican man, you should be proud. I think you get one good look at my mom and you'd be like, this dude's white. You are she's fully white. white. Yeah. It is literally. Italian and Irish. I mean, dude, do you realize the blessings upon, you know how much Jesus loves you? He literally, <laughs> he literally yeah. made you look like a full-blown Puerto Rican man and said, but you're white. I don't know so that. he gave you the power of a white man <laughs> and the looks of a Puerto Rican guy. You literally, he gave you the best looks. I don't think that anyone's ever, you, you're the only person ever that's ever said that I look Puerto Rican. Does he not look Latino? Yes. Yeah. You, Let's ask the other white people in the also, room. Hey, guys. <laughs> Venetia, by the way, also looks Latina, and she's Greek. Yeah, I'm Greek. But you're, you look Italian as well. No, no, no. Ital I'm not saying Italian. I'm saying he looks fully Latino. Oh, I'm saying that he has a mix. I like, mean, he literally looks like... Oh, like, if, be if, like if, I, if you said to me... italian If you said to me, the Mets just signed a Venezuelan relief pitcher <laughs> and showed me that picture, I'd be like, this guy looks fucking great. <laughs> I'm like, this guy looks lights out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this like, guy's got a curve. When you, when, the, like, I'll, I got to be honest with you. The first time I met you, mm -hmm. when you didn't have not even a hint of a Latino accent, I was shocked. I was like, this guy's not saying the Yankees. <laughs> this guy's just saying the Yankees. I was like, you mean the Yankees? He was like, no, no, the Yankees. I like the Yankees. Which like, time are you referring to? Because we did meet on the set of that show. Oh, Guy Court. Yeah. How great was that? That was. And that, you know what's funny? Because we did that show. And then I, this is when I had a complete buzz cut head, like just like pre KKK. There you go. Yeah. Um, and then the next time I saw you was earlier when you were talking about at that bar. Yeah. And so I was like, I wonder if this dude year. will remember me. Same calendar year, right? Was it or pretty? No, I think it was. I have no idea. I, I thought it was like it was after. I thought it was a while after. And that's why I just like went up to you and I was like, hey. And then because we had like spoke like briefly on like Twitter or something. Right. And then I was like, I don't know if this dude's going to know who I am. But I was like, this dude's in the Is fucking. Is that the kid Frankie? No, no, no. Oh. That's my friend Josh. But Do you yeah. think I look better now or then? Dude, so now. Look at you. Yeah, I, looks I look bad there, right? Look what like, was wrong with me there? I don't know. You look like a lit, like a Komodo dragon. It looks dumb, right? Too baggy of a suit. Look at that. Look at, oh my God. Look at the star power. Schultz, yeah, Charlemagne, Schultz looks Donnell, just Melanie. Like very lanky there. Yes. Schultz looks the same, though. I feel like Schultz still yeah, looks, looks the same. Exactly the same. No, Schultz there's some old pictures that are really bad of Whoa, Schultz. look at Joe Santagato here. Dude, you Look at my head. Look at that. You look like, as Venetia would say, a fuck boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have 100%. FB status there. Yeah. You, it is crazy. It is. Yeah. It is. It's got to be very frustrating for women that it is so true that men just look so much better as they get older and women start to look worse. It's got to be beyond frustrating. I, I feel like there's a point. I think that is true. But I think there is a point where they're kind of aligned. Like what, what years do you think, think that, that is? Like in the 30s? Like the like the like 28 to 33, I think, is a pocket of time where everyone kind of is looks just as good as they're gonna yeah. look but also i don't even know if i believe this dude some dudes i see from like high school after a while and i'm like dude you look fucking like bad 47 right like what happened no listen i'm not saying uh, first of all i don't generalize anything but i'm just saying most people you've heard that before where they say guys start to look better and then women start to look worse as they get older now obviously it's not true for everything but, I mean, you do see it a lot. I think I mean, that guys just get away with more. 
Right. Like the, the, the dad bod thing was like, oh, and it's like, oh, okay. You yeah. Let it go. Just get in. But a woman, a woman can't, you can't have mom bod. Dad bod's okay, yeah. but not mom bod. There's right. been a couple of times where I've had mom bod as a man. Yeah. And, but you're right. <laughs> you can I have remember. mom bod. Every, it's, all bodies are beautiful. All body. Vanity is off camera saying all bodies are beautiful. Yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> Yeah. And it's just we gotta stop lying. Wouldn't it, it be is. milf? It is. It is. It is. Wouldn't be milf. Or- no, I'm kidding. It is. Of course. Would a milf be? Well, Mom I bod? think no. No, I, I'm saying dad bod. Like for example, I would say dad bod are still in shape though. When you kind like, of when when people are like, oh, dad bods are in, and then you see a dad bod, and they're like, oh, this, and it's like mm. this dude's like not completely out of shape, and he's right. just like. Walking around. But wouldn't that be curvy for a woman? Curvy. Listen. No, no, no. I think curvy is bigger than a dad bod. Like, okay, okay. As far as as a mom, though, I guess a mom bod would be maybe like a fupa. No, I meant meant the opposite, actually. I meant a dad bod is way like more body fat percentage than curvy would be. Like, I think dad bod, the spectrum is like insane. I just think, too, women don't care as much about a guy's body as a guy cares about a woman's body. You know what I mean? I don't care either way. Like, <laughs> yeah. Literally, I genuinely don't care. As a matter of fact, I just feel like I've been asexual. I've, I have no, I have, I'm talking, Joe, mm-hmm. listen to me. Yeah. Christmas cat, Santa yeah. Gato. Got it. I have almost no sex drive lately. No jerking off, no trying to have sex. I don't know what is going on. Like, mm-hmm. it actually is bothering me where I'm like, because I still wake up with a little morning wood. <laughs> but I... <laughs> But I do feel like I have it down. zero se- Do you ever go to that where you feel like you have no sex drive at all? I mean, when I'm like depressed or something. So you think I'm just actually clinically depressed? No, I think that you're just still figuring out your sexuality. And we're all watching it in real time, too. <laughs> and <it's> like, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> you don't know what's making you happy. You're like, some days it's this, some days it's that. The day I do figure it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But but I but it is strange where it's like but it's I'm comfortable with it. I'm at an age now where I'm comfortable. I'm not saying Jasmine is, but I'm comfortable not having sex. Like I actually don't want to. It's actually like too much of a chore. I'd rather just relax with you, watch Yellowstone, yeah, cuddle a little bit, maybe order the new Pizza Hut sandwiches that they have, and just chill. I don't want to. I don't. I don't need to have. Se- they're called melts. Pizza Hut melts. What? They look good. good. Look at the commercial. How many pizza, calories? Pizza Hut melts. Oh, God. You don't want to know. <laughs> That's not a question you're as supposed to I ask. Eat, as long as I eat you it. You never ask my, a woman that. <laughs> as long as I have it in my eating window. Um, I, I, but it's weird. I don't. You're over it. And I don't. And, and you know, and I'm sure that it's going to, you know, I'm sure eventually, you know, you can't get away with this forever. Eventually, you know, my girl's going to be like, we need to have sex. Or I'm going to look for it elsewhere. And I'm going to say, let's go pick the guy together. How long? But <laughs> I... I, cause I just don't want to do it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to have sex with anyone for any reason. I'm not even touching my own peepee. Even when I go away to ho- on hotels rooms for uh, gigs, I don't even. It's it's like just went. It's just gone. Do you feel smarter? Do I feel smarter? Yeah, because that was the thing. Remember NoFap? It was like if you don't jerk off for 30 days, then like you're gonna like and take cold well, showers. I was going to George Costanza. Remember he got smart all of a sudden for not jerking off. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, I don't feel smarter. But I do feel more in control. I feel the most control in my life now. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm telling myself, because I could still get horny, but even when I get horny, I'm like, this is dumb. So when you come, you lose control. Yeah, I just, I, but I don't even, when I finally do come, it's going to be wild, dude. What do you I mean, mean it's when just you find it? When was the last time you came? Honestly, three weeks ago, maybe. Stop. I, I swear to God, dude. I really? swear to Christ. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You like, there'll definitely be blood when I finally do it. <laughs> Bro, you, but like, there's, there's been times where I'm like, oh, I haven't came in six days. I should do this medically. Mm-hmm. Medically, you should do it. But do you have yeah. a, a girlfriend or are you singy wingy? Yeah. <laughs> singy wingy. No, yeah, I do. Oh, you have a girl. For how long? A while. Oh wow! So you've been so you've been in the same. Now, how often with your girl do you got? Do you guys still to this day, if you've been together longer than five years, have sex three to four times a week? Three to four times, not all the time. But there's weeks where it happens three to four times. Yeah. Right. But there's also weeks where it doesn't happen once. Yeah. Do you think it's because I have kids? Do I have too many kids? I think that. <laughs> how many kids do you have? Three. That's a lot of kids. Right. <laughs> and how old are they? Twelve-year-old stepson. 
seven-year-old biological daughter, one-year-old <laughs> biological daughter, but we did never test, we did never confirm that it's, right. that she's mine, but her toes are crossed it's over. It's all up in the air. Her toes, yeah, her toes are crossed over and she, and she loves uh, bacon, so, and Nutella, so mm. she's probably my kid. That's pretty telling. But so do you think that's it? Um, <laughs> maybe, mm -hmm. but I don't know, it doesn't sound like it's like a, a an issue of we can't just find the time and we're exhausted. You're just, you're on the road by yourself and you're like, Not I'm just going to go to sleep. You know what it could be? I started taking new blood pressure medicine. You think that's it? Ooh. Probably. Three months ago, I started, shout out Losardin. Good blood pressure meds. <laughs> My blood Shouting out blood pressure <laughs> medication. <laughs> Shout out Losardin if you want to sponsor the show. Shout him out. Oh my my dude, my BP the other day was like 125 over 70. It's fucking money. Wow. I get the best blood pressure in this room. Probably. But it's Probably. but I'm on but I'm on juice. I'm yeah, on steroids. You're, you're cheating. I'm, I'm on juice. Now, what do you yeah. guys think of all the rappers uh, who now believe that they're saving their cum because it drains their creative life force? The rappers are saying that they <laughs> save their cum because it drains their creative life force. I mean, I would say that... I'd say that life force is pretty drained. I was going to say, yeah, as a rapper, you have a short life force anyway. You're not going to make it long. Rappers are starting to get killed again, which make I like that nostalgia. It's making me, it makes me feel good <laughs> that rappers are starting to get killed again. So fucked I'm up. waiting for the first comic, man, after Chris Rock. First comic to get... There will be a, a shooting in a comedy club. I have... I don't it know already why. already has been, but... Yeah. I have that Has there been fear. a shooting in a comedy club? I forget who it happened to, but... No, but I'm talking about a mass shooting. Oh, um, yeah. If you guys want to do it, chrisdcomedy.com. <laughs> got new dates at West Palm Beach we've just added. He That's just fun. Be, guns are legal. Just wants Phoenix, to be the first. <laughs> legal guns, Phoenix, January 26th to the 28th. That's great. And guess what? Vancouver, Canada might be hard. We added that one. And we ordered Austin. I'm opening up Moon Tower... Uh, Comedy Festival in Austin at the Paramount. So bring your guns, ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. So no one's getting shot in Vancouver. That's, That's good. I think if you really <laughs> want to prove how good you are, do the shoot. Come to get the gun into my show in Vancouver. Doesn't like eight people a year die from guns in Canada or something? No, like crazy, does. dude. Yeah, I think it's like no. four. Nobody does. More people do blackface. <laughs> um, all right. All right, baby, DoorDash. You know we love DoorDash here. We like to unlock savings from the local restaurants. We, I use DoorDash every day of my life. Got the Dash, da, uh, Dash Pass uh, membership, which is dope. Everything's about memberships now. Get the Dash Pass, okay? Because literally, you enjoy its zero delivery fees on every eligible order. That's right, zero. They'll, uh, uh, you get the lower service fees on all eligible orders and 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. DoorDash, literally, I mean, you know, everything's on a phone right now. Everything's an app. Just download that DoorDash app, put it in, and you're going to get, for a limited time, the listeners of the Hey Bay podcast, which we thank you guys so much for, you're going to enjoy a gift of 50% off up to a $20 value and $0 delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code HEYBABE22. That's HEYBABE22, 50% off, up to a $20 value, zero delivery fees. Download the DoorDash app in the App Store. Enter the code HEYBABE22. Do not forget, code HEYBABE22, 50% off, up to a $20 value, and zero delivery fees promo code hey babe 22 subject to change terms apply love you doordash door babe this show sponsored by better help love it this episode brought to you by better help better help it's helped me it's helped sal it's helped everyone in this room but homeless pimp because he's not using it and he needs to get on it he needs to get on it why should i try it you should try Pimp, you should try better help because you just you seem stressed. <laughs> and you're just under a lot of pressure, rightfully so. We work you in here. We work you in here like, you know, uh, we, we work you to death. So what would I do on better help? Well, how would I So what you do on better help is first of all, you can literally, if you want to, you can get on a Zoom with a trusted guidance counselor from BetterHelp, and you can literally do a session naked if you want. You can be butt naked. You don't have to waste time going to an actual office. Instead, you can save time and you can go to BetterHelp on Zoom and then edit more clips that we fucking tell you to edit. Oh, okay, and, cool, and you, great. And, and, you can do, <laughs> and you can do that while you listen to old Opie and Anthony episodes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, while, you, while, you, while you're drooling. So BetterHelp, what also is great about BetterHelp Pimp is it's connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and it's accessible anywhere and it is 100% online. And that's where 
You live most of your life, Pimp, is online. Mm. You're an online guy. This is an online service. Okay? You can talk to... You don't have to... It's, you don't have to take edibles every night. You can instead of... Why don't you take... Why don't, instead of taking an edible, why don't you take an edible emotionally by oh. talking to a counselor on BetterHelp? Oh, my God. Sounds amazing. It's the world's largest therapy service. It's matched 3 million people, professionally licensed and vetted therapists. And literally, because uh, you're a fan of the show... Right now, all you got to do is go to BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash Hey Babe, and you're going to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Hey Babe, 10% off your first month. Pimp, are you going to do it? Right after I edit the Chrissy Chaos Patreon episode. That's right, because that's coming up next. How about this? More people Vla in power. Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, who should have been dead months ago, is now the Time Magazine's person of the year. Do you remember last February when this started? The news was like, Zelensky's going to die any minute. I like was pretty... So, I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a gambling man. My, I haven't hit a parlay in weeks, so I'm not the best one. DraftKings? Who's the sponsor? Uh... All of them, legitimately. I think Kings. three of them: DraftKings, Fanduel, Caesars, picks. Pride Picks, DraftKings, Pride Picks. picks. Yeah. I love Pride Picks. Oh, Pride Picks. Yeah, you said Pride Picks. That's another, another picks. site, so that's like, another no. site that like I'm a, on. <laughs> <laughs> Pride Picks. It's, the, it's it's my competitor grinder. Yeah. Pride Picks. <laughs> um, all right. So so so, so what, what were we saying about Zelensky? Are you hard, no, by the way, or is that shit in your hard? pocket? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, oh, actually, no, I wanted to give this to you. I forgot this is in my pocket. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's the hot sauce. Whoa. Oh, cool. Yeah. Look at this. Everything bagel hot sauce by the heatinist. Is this, is this from your show? Uh, we made, uh, that's my hot sauce. Oh, Amazing, this is the hot sauce man. you're making. Well, fucking yep. taste buds, eat your heart out. They got to the hot sauce <laughs> game first. Sorry, DeRosa. I mean, his hot yeah, sauce. <laughs> and I'm going to eat the hot sauce right in front of you if when he, I see you next time, you pig. If he, <laughs> <laughs> if he hated me before, he's going to hate me now. Oh, oh yeah. It, oh, it's good bottle, too. Good packaging, <laughs> DeRosa. You suck. <laughs> Oh God! Um, I'd, love right. to, I'd love to film an episode of their show at DeRosa's restaurant without oh, him knowing. Oh, please do it! <laughs> they should film an episode in here. Uh, we should do it. We should do a show with them. Yeah, no, that's here happening. You go. That's See happening. how yeah. how good Joe is. Good business. Why don't we bring it all together? Do bring it, it all with together, them, yeah. and then show a live audience how much better their show is than Taste <laughs> And then. <laughs> um, did you guys see that they're starting a hundred and forty-seven thousand dollar a year salary job to kill the rats in New York? Hundred and forty-seven yes. grand a year just to kill the rats. Yeah. What does that even fucking mean, dude? Just release a bunch of cats. That's all you got to do, <laughs> dude. I That's... would just release everybody's house cat. I would make it illegal to have a house cat. If you have a house cat, it has to be outside. And then that thing will start killing all the rats, dude. Nobody kills more rats than cats. Dude, but the, the cats would all meet up and then start attacking people. Oh, 170,000. Actually, more money. Oh, wow. Nice. Look at that. That's dude. ridiculous. But Look what does that even mean? That you have to, like, go out and, with, like... I guess set traps, go, like, on rat hunts. But, but the thing is, I think that the way that rats procreate, they evolve. They procreate so much quicker. Like, you kill one, there's ten more. They should just put out like a fucking statement of like, yo, just kill every rat you see. Like with those bugs. The, what, was it, what were they called? Uh, what were they? The stupid. <sighs> the bugs? Chinese lantern. Oh, the, oh, the, the lantern, lantern bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. lantern, right. whatever. And I was killing, I was killing those by the fucking I, Dude, hundreds. my daughter was like an assassin with those. She would come and just. People get she excited. She would kill like 30 at a time, throw them in the pool. Dude, did you see a, a person of color was killing them in the street and then somebody called the cops? Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my. He's killing all the flies. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Um, Some guy, so I, I was at a, I was at a, uh, like a lunch at like a nice place, and a guy, and a, and one landed on the floor. This guy got up out of his seat and jumped on it like it was a live grenade. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, like jumped on it and was like stomping. Well, on dude, it. Like, that's it's the live. That's the most American thing you can do. Is my government told me to kill lantern bugs because they they came <laughs> here I'm from gonna. China and that's the enemy. Yeah. So that's what it is. The lan It's not China's the enemy. The Chinese lantern bugs. Exactly. That's who we're at war with. Yeah. I think you could play Vladimir Zelensky in the movie. I could see you Me? playing Zelensky. Pull, I think... So now I'm not only Puerto Rican, but I'm Ukrainian. You're an Ukrainian... Port Dude, you're racially ambiguous. That's the best... Dude. Dude, the best thing that ever happened to you is you were born racially big. I don't... I think you're the only person thinking that. I can't, Dude, I'm telling you, I'm not. Go tweet at Hey Bay Pod right on the YouTube comments. Did you think Joe Santagato was a Dominican relief pitcher for the Mets? <laughs> yes or no? 
Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, the fact that he won Person of the Year, Time mm -hmm. Magazine, I, I understand why I get it, but it just feels like if the media was saying this guy was going to die a year ago, that they were like closing on his location, and now he's alive, it just makes me, f and now he's Person of the Year, it just makes me feel like the media is controlling this all. Like, they're protecting him. They're setting all this up. Like, I just feel like, I don't know if Russia, Ukraine would this is as mean, bad though? as they say. But why would they do that? Like, what, what does it mean? Like, obviously, he's going to be protected. He's the fucking president. Yeah, but he was supposed to, the media was outwardly saying last February, he's going to die any day. Like, he's had, he had the vest on. He was out in the streets. I'm like, this guy might want to duck because I don't know about this. It is funny, though, how like just a count, not even a calendar, like less than a year later, Vlad, like you would think it's, it's, it's the mighty Putin versus Zelensky who's hiding in a hole. Now Zelensky <laughs> is on the cover of Time magazine and Putin's falling down the stairs, shitting his pants. Is, was that like <laughs> confirmed? Yeah, like, he real fell down the stairs and shit his pants. That's fire. It's like such a flip. How do we it's not like have if footage? you told me, if like if you told me, like switcheroo history is like this. Like if you told me 30 years ago, hey, here's Bill Cosby, here's Mr. Rogers. Which one's gonna be in prison? I'd be like, Mr. Rogers, dude. This guy fucking <laughs> puts his shoes on on live television. He's a, fuck, <laughs> he's a creep. Cosby's the man, but then it's a flipperoo. Yeah, Cosby's is. a creep. Although Mr. Rogers, I just think it's No, he was a nice guy. I think there's I'm gonna find what's wrong with you, Rogers. I'm coming. He probably was really <laughs> into some weird sexual stuff, but like all legal. He was stuff. gay, right? Mr. Rogers is gay. I no. think can we all agree Did with he have that? A wife? No. I mean, dude, who's washing their feet in a kiddie pool that doesn't have some crimes they've covered up? That's, Seriously. Mm. That's it. That <laughs> you don't think that Mr. Rogers is has did something criminal some criminal activity you know, i think that we're just jaded you know anyone okay. who's nice you're like okay you can't be too nice also if you did you watch the documentary about you don't think life? that it's a quinky dinky that tom hanks the greek pedophile played him in the movie <laughs> allegedly allegedly alleged <laughs> alleged ped yeah he's on a bunch of fly lists isn't he on, Dude, the, on the logs mr rogers you know it's going to be classic you know it's going to be classic when elliot page plays mr rogers <laughs> Yeah, I cried at his documentary. You cried at Mr. Rogers' almost, documentary? Almost, almost. Are you on steroids? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I never saw the Mr. Rogers documentary. Would it's you good. recommend it? We like to do movie recs here on Hey Babe, even um, though we've never done it, it was, before. It was good. <laughs> I, I, I liked it because like, I was the same way. I'm like, this guy is like super nice. And like, anyone right. who does like a kid show, I'm always just like, what's right. going on? You know, like the yeah, but dude, like pull up this clip. Google. <laughs> no, that's not it. Um, all right, forget it. Wow, look at Lou Ferrigno, dude. Fucking God. Just a jacked. massive fucker. Dude, look at that. Would you really want to be that jack, though? It seems, Absolutely it not. Seems like, yeah. I don't get I that. I kind of do. Really? I always nah, think about how do, they, how do they wipe. Some of them are so huge. I'm like, there huge. has to be an assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's right. wiping their shit. Right. Also, I, I'm just thinking about, dude, the second you stop working out, now you're just a huge dude. Yeah, it's no different a, than being 800-pound life or whatever it is. It's the uh, same dude. At a certain dude. point. At it's a certain same point. Dude. You're just a fat shit. All right, V, we could, we could skip it. You know why we should skip it anyway? Because I, we should probably edit this part out because it's a clip on my Vice show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing bits from Vice now? <laughs> yeah. I should probably not. I should probably not do the bits from the TV show that's coming out on the pod. <laughs> That's probably get sued for that. Yeah, bad. Just cut, edit all that part out, and I'm back. Vladimir Putin fell down the stairs, <laughs> shit himself. What do you guys think of all the crypto billionaires mysteriously dying? Every like, crypto, did you get, ever get in crypto? Did you ever get hot and heavy with it? Yeah, but not, not enough to like hurt. It doesn't bother you. Like I was just playing a game kind of. Do you have it still? Like just, you're just yeah. like, I'm just going to leave it there yeah. until it comes back. I'm not, I'm not really like. You know, yeah. I didn't put enough in that I would be like, oh, my God. Well, now they're, they're apparently being hunted on that Puerto Rican island. Remember, you had said you knew a bunch of people moved there for tax. Oh, it, oh, it, you mean in Puerto Rico? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because, because if you live in Puerto Rico, you only pay 4% tax rate. So a lot of millionaires, crypto millionaires and billionaires were moving to Puerto Rico. Instead of getting taxed 40%, they got taxed 4 Wow. by your people that you say <laughs> you're not a part of. Alleg allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you worked into Puerto Rico, they'd be like, welcome on, Papa. You'd no, like, they wouldn't. What? K? No. <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> I, dude, you ever go to Puerto Rico? I haven't. I want to go really bad. I though. went for the first time uh, last year. Dude, unbelievable. Best mangoes you'll ever have in your life. I believe that. Truthfully, I've definitely had dude. mangoes from like a Puerto Rico. No, but you've never had a street. mango from the island, dude. That's, I have It tastes like you're biting into J-Lo's ass. Oh, God. Shut that was such a perfect well, fucking... Affleck's cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dude, Ben Affleck, the picture of him outside, like, 
Yeah, just that's the that's, best, I love, best meme. Seen. I love Dude, that. so how? Where's uh? Where's Frankie? Where's your boy Frankie? What's uh, he doing today? You know, he's in Jersey, living it up. He has a baby on the way. You know, well, on the way. Yeah. Well, Is this like, his first kid? Uh, second. Dude, oh, I, wow. let me tell you something. I was telling them before. When you have one child, it's yeah. great. It's difficult. Being a parent's very hard. When you have two kids, you might as well have forty. Yeah. The fact having two children, like I, you know, I've three, you know, but my stepson, he's 12 and he hates me. So it's whatever. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. And no, he doesn't actually does. You're right. No. He doesn't hate me. He, he doesn't, but he, I, he was throwing up last week and he was throwing up on the carpet and he couldn't move. And I picked him up and threw him in the fucking shower. Why could he uh, not move? Because he was throwing up. I'm stomach super virus. mobile. When and I'm I was like, up. I was just mad. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. I, I can't, I, I, like, I, I move around a lot. Like, I'll, I'll even dance around the toilet bowl for some reason. I'm, like, what, moving. When you need to puke? Yeah, when I'm, when I'm puking, dude, I'm all over the fucking house. Dude, you know I hadn't puked. Like, not even, a, not even a stomach bug. I hadn't puked in five years. I've puked twice in the past month. Fucking two. Multiple cool. pukes. Isn't it weird? Yeah, I think it is weird. What do you, dude, the one? Well, you're not jerking off, so maybe that, was, that has something to do with it. I feel bad. I think I might have said this on the podcast. I feel... I, I, I felt, feel terrible. Shout out the Liberty Hotel in Boston. Great hotel. I threw up. All over it. All over in the sink. And I cleaned all the chunks up. Oh, my God. With, chunks is a disgusting word. Yeah. I cleaned all the, I cleaned all the chunks up with, with, with bath towels. And I left the puke-filled bath towels on the floor. And I put them in a neat pile. But I didn't have any cash to tip. Oh. So I left no tip. My God. I left a stomach virus and fucking puke chunks. And I left no tip. And I feel horrible. But what I'll oh. say is all hotels should have some type of QR code where I can instantly uh, send money into a pot for the uh, uh, ma maids and guy maids i don't think they're counting on people having a stomach fuck in their fucking no, but, sink but how many times do we not have cash and now i gotta go down to the atm pay a three dollar and fifty cent fee just to come back up and leave twenty dollars for the house cleaning yeah. crew if there was a qr code where i could just scan it it's on my desk you know it's on my nightstand i can then send them the money and this way you know no i agree and also like uh va like parking garages and valets like yeah. yeah, they won't let you tip with your card when you pay with your card. And they're like, oh, no. I was just like, well, I just don't have cash on me. I don't or have if I, cash. I have a $20 bill. Like, yeah. are we going to break the 20 Like, What do you want me to do? Yeah. Yesterday was the first day I, 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 I got a, a car service. And then I didn't have cash to tip. And I asked the guy for his Venmo. And he just, he was very, he had opened up, scanned his Venmo. I Venmoed him his tip. And it worked out. But then yeah. these people that don't have Venmo, it's like, you know. Then you're not you gonna get them. tipped. What do you want me to do? Give you my French fries? <laughs> yeah, I I'll mean, give you my Pizza Hut panini. It's a, it's a difficult war, though. We live in me and you, honestly. We do live in a difficult. Let's yeah. talk about how <laughs> the struggles of being a straight white male. I know it's difficult. Allegedly, yeah, alleged, alleged, alleged. <laughs> alleged. I'm no, posing. It is. No, I know. Honestly, the I will say this. I think the world today is not any more difficult or crazy than it was 50 years ago. It's just we see it all now. So you have this illusion that things are more difficult. I, I but believe it's that. Not, yeah. it's, it's actually was so much worse 50 years ago. It's just you didn't see it. Like if I told you, like you could be in a room right here, right? And one of us could have, a, 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 you, you could, I could have the stomach virus I'm going to give to you. But you have no idea. You don't have any clue. Right. You're, you're living. You have no idea it's even happening. But then if I told you, hey, by the way, I think I have a stomach bug. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, it's on your mind. You're worried. Could I have it? Could I not? Ignorance is bliss. And I think back in the day, it was good to be ignorant. Now, with cameras on the whole world, it's a little bit like people think it's worse than it actually is. Yeah. It's it, not worse. The world is not. You do not want to be. You would not have liked the world 50 years ago. I promise you. Two things I want to say. One. Say two and only two. If you say three, I'm going to ask you to leave. Gotcha. The first one, legitimately every single time that I do a podcast with you, you have some sort of illness. And in between that, one of the times I went to your show at the Comedy Cellar and I was talking to you backstage and you're like, oh, and after like 10 minutes of talking, he goes, by the way, I have like 102 fever. And I'm, I'm like, thanks dude Thanks. every single time oh, when I, because I, I came to your house you're like I got black mold in the walls I'm like dude oh, I'm dude. here already first of all it's African American mold <laughs> I I I don't um, I get sicky wicky a little bit more because I got little kids my little ones in daycare uh, yeah. and then you know they're all they're all booger infested kids but I do think you know I won't be as sick 
you know, when I'm like four, when my kids are a little older, I won't be as sick. But yes, yeah. I do get, I do get sick, uh, you know, a little too much. Yeah. And the second thing I wanted to say was that I definitely like go out of my way to try and not be as informed as I am sometimes. Because like, I'm like, I wish I just didn't fucking know this. Yeah. Like every single time someone dies, I got to hear about it. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, that's sad. And I'm pretty sensitive, dude. You are a sensitive guy. <laughs> to, to like information. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if I learn something and I'm like, oh, dude, I didn't, I didn't. Or like my sister will send me a fucking like a TikTok of some fucking dog that ran away. And I'm like, what the fuck are you sending me this yeah, for? It's yeah, like what? ruining my day. It's 8 a.m. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? I know. It's like, dude. I it's can't like, have this. It's like not, not everything needs to be a sob story. That's not. That's why I'm not watching the Lizzo documentary on HBO Max. It's like we There's get it. There's a Lizzo documentary? Yeah, it's like we get it. Okay, you're fucking. You're a multimillionaire. Shut up. If you make over a million dollars a year, you should you should just shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. You should you, you should just shut up. You literally, if you're making over a million dollars a year you, and you're in the public eye, you should literally only be allowed to come on television and talk about how much your life, how fucking amazing your life is, and how the little peasants just you should you should really strive to be a multimillionaire. And I don't want to hear one complaint coming out of your fucking fat mouth if you're making over a million dollars a year, no matter what race, religion, creed. I don't give a fuck about your struggle. Oh, wow. You won. If you got the money, you won then, and your struggle is now irrelevant. It's that was yesterday, babe. Shut up and keep making the money. If you make nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand a year, I'll hear from you. You mm -hmm. poor piece of shit. Tell us again about how you don't come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I would have, that rant I just went on is the first time I got blood flow to my dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> I watched another HBO Max doc. What's on? What'd you watch? Uh, there's a shortage of um, black Santas. There's a shortage of black, black Santas? Santas? Yeah. Really? What's the quota? I don't know, but these other Santas were crying on camera about it. It was very bizarre. Wait, what? White the... Santas were crying about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people, are, I mean, this is the, you know, I have no idea, but like people are very, I guess... They have pride about being Santa Claus to the point where they're like represented as a. I think Santa Santa doesn't Santa shouldn't be attached to a race or even a sexuality. I think Santa's I think Santa's are sexually ambiguous and racially ambiguous. I mean, well, he has a wife. He does okay, but he well. Why don't we say that Mrs. Claus now is a partner? Why don't we say it's a partner instead of a wife? We could. We Santa could, has we could Santa's partner. We could technically say that. I mean, you never really even hear about Mrs. Claus anymore. Yeah, that was right. that was a thing in the '90s. You don't even hear Santa Claus is just like a lone wolf. You think now. they got out of Mrs. Claus? Yeah, probably. I think they like pushed her out. They're like, women are getting too much now. It's, yeah, we don't need this now. We don't need it. Yeah, I mean, well, really, like Santa Claus is Jeff Bezos. Amazon. We've talked about this. Before. Amazon Honestly? is Santa Claus. That that's yeah. You're sa listen. Here's the truth. Santa Claus, kids, if you're listening at home and we know that you are, you, Santa Claus is a small Jewish man on steroids. Yeah. And his name's <laughs> Jeff Bezos. I was going to fit that Santa in, by is. the way. I was going to be like on HGH, by the way, because he is out of nowhere yoked. Jeff Bezos. That really fucking pissed me off. I'm like, you can't be the richest man in the world where I was second or whatever the fuck. And then get jacked. No, it's not. Fuck gonna, you. Dude, speaking of that, did you see Joe Rogan call out The Rock? Yesterday or for two what? for what? Joe Rogan called out The Rock yesterday or two days ago and said that he was like, I want to, The Rock needs to come clean and say that he's Ooh. on steroids and there's no way his body can look like that. He oh, was like, okay. because Joe was like, if you're going to do it, then be open. Joe was like, I'm very open about being on HGH. Mm -hmm. The Rock shouldn't lie to the kids to the that kids. look up to him and be like, you can look like this naturally over 50. It's impossible. So, does I he? I mean, The Rock's probably does. It's probably like Joe. Shut up. Was this based on Liver King? Is this what? It, yeah. Exactly, based <laughs> off Liver King. Bro, if you thought that that guy was not on steroids, you should be tar and feathered in yeah. front of a live audience. Yeah. Because look at him. <laughs> like obviously, this dude isn't fucking natural. Yeah. He's a freak. Look at him. Yeah. It's literally like if you literally. Like, just eat testicles, and you'll yeah. have you'll be look like this. Like, get the fuck. It's out like, of here. oh, The Rock's not on steroids. Oh, well, I guess Ryan Seacrest isn't gay either. Come yeah, on. come on, guys, get we real. We know you're fucking. We know Seacrest is gay. We yeah. know The Rock's on steroids. What is Seacrest up to? What, what, Seacrest, what is he up to now? Dudes. I haven't seen him in a while. Dudes? He's on. Uh, he's on a Pride Picks. <laughs> <laughs> is Ryan Seacrest gay, Venetia? Oh my no. god. No, what? he's not. He's actually a producer of the Kardashian show. Even though they moved from E, he's still like on Ryan it Seacrest. with. What does, does that have to do if he's gay Ryan or not? Makes? 
The money <laughs> Is he gay? Se- he actually That's produces the Kardashians. <laughs> Dude, the money Ryan Seacrest oh. has is next level. Honestly, deserves it. Guy's a good host. Love Ryan Seacrest. And listen, what happened to the other guy? He never bitches and complains about his problems. <laughs> Zoomed in on the fact that he's 5'8", which means that he's 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. He's from Dunwoody, Georgia. What, is, what a fun town. Hey, I'm from Dunwoody. Imagine the other 47. guy. 47. Whoa. Man, remember he had the, a co-host and they dropped him? Ryan Seacrest had a co-host? On American Idol when they first launched. Who? Did he? Re- uh, uh, Did they? There was another guy in there. Ooh, another, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, they brought Wow, Pimpy knows it. Pimpy, I like that Pimp, Pimp that watches shows like a fucking housewife. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> you got to take oh, your- Oh, my, well, my, my, wait, my alarm went off. Oh, I now it's Austin, Vancouver, and West Palm. I already did bring your guns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bring your guns. So, um- Kelly Ripa, by the way. Hello. Oh, my God. Oh, um, live with Kelly. That's a good looking couple right there. Kelly, Kelly Ripa's in shape. Kelly Ripa is Beat in shape. Beat the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, Kelly Ripa. Kelly Ripa is ripped. Remember, her husband, Mark Consuelos, is ripped. That dude's hot as shit. What a. F- Mark Consuelos. The last thing Consuelos sounds like you made up a Latino name. Yeah, that sounds like you like trying to be like yeah. half racist or something. Like yeah. you would think my last name was yeah, that. Yeah, I'm or like, something. hey, it's Joe Consuelos. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, what are you doing for the rest of the day, Joe? Oh, my God. Look at this guy. I want to know about your day. What would you have for breakfast, dude? I didn't Seriously. eat breakfast. You haven't eaten any. Oh, are you intermittent fasting? Let's talk about it. No, I just get lazy sometimes. Whoa, so when's the last time you ate? When did you, what, did you eat last night? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten in three weeks. No, uh, yeah, last night, what did I have? Chickpea pasta. Ooh, did you cook? Do you cook? The guys want to know. I cook, but not as often as I should. Right, but you could cook. Like if I said, yeah. Joe, you need to cook for the week. You could make a meal. You could make three meals a day, every day, variety. You know how to cook stuff. If yeah. I was like, chicken parm, do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. I can it's make just, chicken parm. It's just easy. What is it? You chick, you get a, what do you get? Take us through it. Chicken, fucking breadcrumbs. Eggs. Some eggs. You know what I mean? Dip it in. You need fucking fresh matzo, and you put it in the fucking oven. That's know. it. You put it in the oven. Now, homemade sauce, or you get in canned sauce? No, I fucking, <laughs> well, yeah. Can. You make canned sauce? Yeah. You won't, you don't make a homemade sauce? No, I'm not, no. You know what bothers me? And I don't me? have any grandparents, so no one's making it in their garage or anything like that. You know what bothers me, but I just have to deal with it? Yeah. My girlfriend's, her ex-boyfriend taught her how to make sauce, and the sauce is banging. Yeah. But every time I eat it, I'm like, I feel like I'm eating his cum. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I feel like you. that was a big reach. <laughs> yeah. Like, it could you have been anything else. that's crazy? Else. Yeah, 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 I do think that's crazy. I knew a guy. Who moved into a building? He moved into an apartment building, like a real nice luxury condo building. Yeah. With his girlfriend. Was in day one in the elevator with his girlfriend, like literally getting the shit from the U-Haul truck. And the girlfriend saw an ex-boyfriend she had in high school that lived in the building. What a quinky dink! That kid, that guy, moved out. Him and his girlfriend. He they moved out of the building the next day. Broke the lease and he left. You know this person? Personally? I know this person personally. I was like, what a dummy. The, I, well, the most insecure person of all time, obviously. Could you imagine doing that? Yeah, no. I mean, I, I mean, would. Who cares, right? I, no. I, why the fuck would you give a shit? I don't. And also, a lease to break the lease is like thousands, thousands of, of dollars. dollars. Yeah, I, I can't deal with this. I used to. This, <laughs> this is how insecure I used to be. Every girlfriend I had, like when I was like, even, like in my late twenties, yeah. my first question would be like, "How many guys have you had sex with?" Like, and then it would, I would force them. You know, like pressure them to like give me an answer, which was so dumb. Yeah. And then you know they never cared about because girls are more mature. They never cared about my answer. And then like whatever their answer was, it would bother me. And now it's like, uh, what a dumb th- people do that. Like, yep. why do you care Dude, about somebody's past? It's, it, especially like the younger generation right now. Like that's literally all of the content on like TikTok and shit is like them asking women or just like talking about women and, and how many sexual partners they have and like what's acceptable and what isn't acceptable and the real answer to these guys is legit zero or one yeah it's like if you want to really experience girls she has one sexual partner if she has yeah. two what i legit saw a, a video the other day of of a woman actually uh talking to a girl who said she had two sexual partners and she was 18 years old okay and and they were making it seem like this girl had fuck thousands right had sex with two people at two 18 people at 18 all right, hope you enjoyed that episode with the very, very funny and hot Joe Santagato. Sal Volcano will be back next week. 
Don't worry about it. And babe, we have about 45 minutes of that episode that we just could not put out there for the masses. We could not put it on YouTube. So it's all at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy, where me and Joey went wild. So that's at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. Joe Santagato and I talking ish was just not fit for uh, Hey Babe. But babe, don't, I thought that episode was great with Joey Santagato. I th- thought it was great. And the rest is at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. So enjoy them both. Don't be a fake, don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe.